Oh, sorry, you're going to be staring at the uh, light. <laughs> Hi. Great to have you along on my channel. My name's Esther. This is Stampin' Star Creations. We are a crafty creative channel, usually using stamps, paper and ink. I say usually. Usually is. Nice to have your company and thank you so much for joining me. Do stick around and I'm going to show you um, a couple of projects with all things fabulous. It's a new stamp set that's in our um, annual catalogue and it's a three-step stamping so you get to see that. Um, I want to show you some cards that I did on my channel, a card I did on my channel and then some others I've made since that not all of you would have seen and also explain about the colour challenge that I'm doing and why I've picked these colours and the plan for today. Okay, so let's turn you around. I'll go up to the ceiling first because it's just the way it works. So for those who haven't joined Facebook just now, I'm just going to show you these quickly. So I made this on my channel, we had a great time colouring in and having fun with these little gnomes and I even made up a little story about the gnomes of Blue Town. So if you want to go and, or I think it's Blue Town, so if you want to go and listen to that story you can um, have a look at that video and learn about Papa Gnome and what happens to his daughter and the uh, the, the lover, shall we say. So during that live I created this background. I was going to stick all these guys on here but as you can try and suss out it might have looked just too busy. So I've kept it simple and we've gone for this and I've just put a few little cute accents on this card. Then I went ahead and chopped up some of the remaining paper that I'd cut down to use for the backgrounds and I just made up my own little scrappy card. It's amazing what you can make out of scraps amazing and just decorating it with a few little embellishments to make that tree pop and then more strips of scrap just literally stick them down look just sticking them down and then I cut it out with a, a die and then I created this really fun background and just kept it simple with the lady gnome on the front so great stuff and there you go why, why have I got scrap bits underneath I do not know okay so a little bit about the colours I've chosen tonight. So I turn that fan off. I know it's a bit noisy. It's any trouble. Um, I've split all the Stampin' Up colours into different categories, and I'm doing what's called what I'm naming a SSC colour challenge. SSC for Stampin' Star Creations. And this week my theme is summer days. It feels nice and muggy and warm tonight. It feels appropriate. Something's gone wrong with my lamp. There we go, shine the light lamp. And so for summer days, we're thinking bumblebees and roses and, and a balmy summer day with pretty peacocks roaming around. So that's our colour palette. And tonight's uh, stamps are sponsored or things fabulous <laughs> if you like this stamp set, i've just done a facebook live with these and we made a couple of pretty cards so you can head over to my facebook channel if you like and you can have a look to see what i've been up to with all things fabulous. so are you ready for the register i'm going to do a quick register to see who's in today i go by yes miss or here or present <laughs> Sorry, I do like that joke, so I say, oh, hello, Steph, hi, Beverly, hi, Nancy, hello, Dee Dee, hi, Sheila, uh, thank you, Nancy, hi, Deborah, good evening, Cindy, hello, everybody, says Gina, cute cards, thank you, hi, Esther, twice in one evening, Yama, we're back, hello, Connie, hi, Shirley, thank you. Well done. Right, let's get started. So I was very tempted just before I came on to do a whole sheet of stamping. But because of the nature of the stamps and the fact that you're stamping them three times, I think I'm going to do half sheets. And for those of you who might be new or intimidated in stamping a blank piece of canvas like this, you know, start with half a sheet or even a quarter. But the whole point is that you make more than one card in one go. So, starting with Rococo Rose, starting with Rococo Rose, comes in three stamps. It builds up to make a pretty rose. And I'm going to do what my trick that I did earlier, if I can find some card. Am I? 
Oh, there is a vanilla. I might use that. And I'm going to get just another one of those next to me. And I'm going to get a piece of scrap paper next to me. Okay, so this is what we need. So um, <clears throat> if you haven't seen my tip already, I'm going to say it again. Uh, there's a few tips to learn. <laughs> I put my stamps in a row because when they can easily get muddled and you get confused with what goes with what until you get to know the stamps a bit better. So by having them in a row, it helps you to know what goes with what, basically. I'm just trying to get my cheat sheet in front of um, what you call it. <laughs> what am I saying? The smallest one first. Obviously, you need a little bit of space around to fit in the, the rest of the image as well. So I am leaving a gap because I want some other things to, to fit in around this. So I'm going straight strength as it were, full strength rather. I'm gonna to have to go off the page there because that's, it would look a bit odd with the design. And I might even, I might just put a tiny smidgen at the top there as well. We'll see how that one works. Okay, and then we're going to go move up to our next medium size stamp. Now we don't need this to be the same colour because we want it to show up. So I'm going to stamp on my scrap paper and then come back on my, um, my work. Now I need to crossword or something. No, suddenly it just goes. And you can't remember. Let's just have a look at my... Have I used the wrong one? Oh, 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 that's why. I think I've used the wrong one. I've got, <laughs> let me check. Is that one smaller? That'd be why. Okay, now I'm really confused. Um, that goes with that one. I thought I was sorted. I've I've got to use the wrong stamp. That's why. Talk about confusion. I think it's this one. Sorry, folks. Yeah. Do you remember the clown's face? <laughs> there it is. It's in there. That's why it doesn't fit. It's the wrong one. Okay. Let's just pretend it happened. In fact, we can pretend it happened. Look, I've got smudges on this side. I'm going to try and. Should I carry on with the smudges? Okay. So the clown's face, which I shouldn't keep calling it that. I wondered why it didn't fit on my page. Makes a lot of sense now. Okay, so let's go again. <laughs> Linda's like, welcome to my world. I was wondering about whether I should put some um, little markings on them so I know what's what. But actually that won't help because <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I keep going on about the clowns, but once I see the face, it does definitely help. You just see, because of the clown's face, I could find out where I was going wrong. And then when you see it, you can't unsee it. Right, this makes life so much easier when you know what you're talking about because now that fits in so much more easily. So I'm going by that gap here. It's like the side of somebody's hand. Okay, so I'm stamping off my scrap and then I'm going to go in. Once you get the hang of it, you can then go fairly quickly... Because uh, this is off to the side, haha. <laughs> that one wasn't so quick. But just find another gap to fill. I'm going to bring you out a bit because I'm a bit too close. Let's talk about something else, then we won't talk about clowns anymore. We all have our phobias, I have mine. <laughs> so, I'm hoping those smudges will disappear once we. Keep going. 
Oh dear, that is rather smudgy, but there we go. We'll just carry on, shall we? Okay, so because I don't need this to be full strength, I'm going to stamp on a separate um, piece of card here. And then I'm going to come back and fit it into the gaps. Oh, thank you, Vicky. <laughs> That's so kind. Flip it over and it's my phobia spiders. Oh, no. <laughs> Can't win with this stamp set then. Vicky's just on a super chat. Super chat, Vicky. Whoop, whoop. This is such a pretty stamp set. Now, this is going to be interesting. I wonder if I'm going to get a line. Oh, a bit of one. A bit of one. Okay, so I've got my pink smudges, but that's okay. I'm going to work with it. Right, now that that's been resolved, so that one and that one go together with that one. See what I mean about lining them up? It makes a difference. Now, also, you don't need to have lots of colours because you can use this, the same shade. Um, so I'm going to talk as if you haven't seen my Facebook Live because it's not fair for those that have just joined. Um, and I refer to this one as having like little bunny ears. So I'm going to just fill some of the gaps. With the bunny ear flowers. And just by having little references like that, I mean, I know it's funny, but just by having references like bunny ears and so forth, and it, it just helps as a memory aid. So I'm not as doolally as I look. Oh, Vicky missed it because she was sleeping. You're allowed, Vicky, because you're in Australia. <laughs> Right, so the next one to this is, we're going, this is the cat, so we had the bunny and then this is the cat, so you've got a cat's tail and then kind of two ears, okay? Are the bunny ears part of another flower in the set? Yes, they're part of the little, um, the smallest flower. So if I just show you the card I made on one of the cards, I'm not going to show you both, uh, on Facebook, the bunny ears is this one here. So there, can you see the bunny ears? Sheila, what's happened? So this one we're going to stamp off again. I'm wondering, actually, I'll just add to my card okay, here. So the, the this one, a little bit more tricky because the gaps... I really can't get my head in here. It's a bit tricky to do with the phone in the way. We'll do one nearer me. So I no, I can't remember if I found it easier to do it this way around. I think I did because it helps with the I know this has happened, it's a bit difficult light to see. So I find that with the bunny ears facing downwards, it's easier to line up with the gaps with this particular one. Yeah, so much easier. It's so just probably the walking the bunny to be walking. And you just, the, the, the gaps in the stamp fit identically to the gaps from the previous stamp. So although it takes time to build up, it is worth doing it and taking your time with it. Helps if you've got good light and can see what you're doing. <laughs> but like I said, little tips like that can really help just to 
for aligning them up. Really good, I'm at a really awkward angle. I thought I could manage this. I mean, I could try it when trying to make it look pretty. I came into my bathroom last night and there's a big house spider that ran across the floor. Like I said, I'm glad I'm not, I haven't got a phobia of spiders. <clears throat> but I know people have, so we're not going to talk about those, are we, ladies <laughs> and gents? Okay. So for the final uh, one of those pieces, it's this smaller one here. Now, I went a bit mad with my stamping just now on this paper. In fact, I might just bring in another piece of card. Because it might be quite nice just to have this flower by itself as the background. So, now I've got to figure out which way the, these go. So again, it's in the um, flower um, a lot easier than if it was the other way around. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to concentrate. So sorry if I'm missing any messages or if anyone new has popped on. It is one of those stamp sets which just is a bit of concentrating. But I'm trying to also just give you tips if you do get this stamp set or if you've got it already. How to make life a little bit easier for yourself. If you're finding it difficult to work out where things go. So look at that. I've just made myself a pretty background using that. Have I done them all? Almost. One more. Okay, I've got a lot of smudges going on. What happening? What is happening? Happening. Okay, I'm not too worried about the smudges because. Okay, you'd be <laughs> pleased to know. <laughs> That's the hard bit out of the way. Okay, let's have a look at what you're all saying. You flush something in the toilet. Uh, Linda says she also thinks. It's I'm saying the easiest to stamp from the inside out, so to speak. Is that bumblebee? Yes, it is. I'm using these colours tonight. This is my Summer Days inspired SSC colour challenge. You're bubbling amongst yourselves. That's fine then. I don't mind. As long as you're not, you know, asking me a question. I'm going to put my fan on for a bit because I'm starting to get a bit sweltering here. Okay, let's think about what's next. Next is going to be the bigger of the grapevines, if that makes sense. So we're using Balmy Blue. And I'm going to just use these as a filler. So we've got the main body of our um, stamping down on the page. And we're using this to act as a filler, but not every single nook and cranny because we do want to add, add some leaves as well we've got, don't forget we've got another colour to incorporate so for this particular di uh, design I'm doing the, the cross shape so hopefully when it's cut up I can get two cards out of this I'm <clears throat> I am going to oh I nearly lost my voice then I'm going to go in full strength with with the stems try and cover up some of those boo-boos maybe one over here 
So you want them kind of fairly multi-directional as well, so that when you do cut it up, it doesn't look as if it's supposed to be, you know, all in the same direction. If that makes any sense. So then I'm going to use the matching little grapevines, and these just sit happily on top. And I am actually going to use stamp it twice. So once twice so you've got a lovely kind of impression of both colours on your design it is muggy isn't it Dee Dee's video is going blurry every now and then why is it every time I do a YouTube it does that why very frustrating when you try to do a live, do you know that? Somebody's got to have words with the uh, the YouTube. And there's nothing I can do about it either, it's really frustrating. I do you think it's my connection, because that's always, you know, got strong bars. Let's have a look, let's turn that off, see if that makes any difference whatsoever. If I zoom in, does that make a difference or not? Does it make it worse? <laughs> no, blame it on YouTube. Blame it on the tools. <laughs> okay, so we're going in with Pretty Peacock. The next colour. Oh, do you know what? I just thought Peacock would look nice with this as well. Did I just put my fingers in that? Yes, I did. That's how I get nudges. <laughs> it's clear at the minute. Right, I'm going to get a stamping while it's nice and clear. No, I didn't want to have the stem in this, so I'm just going to take it off. With the chamois, just wipe it clean so that I can tuck it in where I want it to go. I know, it's really interesting, grouping the colours together just by their names and you get come up with all kinds of combinations, but combinations that go together, which is what you want really, isn't it? So I did have to jiggle a few around to make it work, but once you've got it down... I wonder if it's autofocus. Oh. Let's try and. Oops, sorry, I should warn you before I do that zoomy thing. I hope the fan's not too loud for you guys. If anyone's on here that hasn't tried this technique where you just stamp over a paper and create your own papers and your own stamping, it's just therapeutic to have a play and I think you can't go too wrong with floral stamps. Lay down your biggest floral first, but then do it methodically as well. Do it, you know, fairly in a pattern. And then go from there, really. And it's just, sometimes it's just so nice just to, just to stamp, you know, stamping some paper. No, this is half a sheet, Sheila. This is half a sheet, which makes it, you know, I mean, if you know the size of our foam pads, that's, that's fitting on there. So I'll, I'll zoom out in a bit. Okay, so just as a bit of a filler stamp, because... I can. There's <laughs> just because there's a few um, gaps. So I'm going to use this one of the tiny stamps in the set. Don't know if you can see that. 
Shirley says, I love the one she one technique. It's so therapeutic. It is. It's sometimes you forget that actually just rather than creating, you know, designing a card, the art of stamping and creating using something that's artistic because the artist has done the work and you're creating from the artwork. So um, you don't have to think about starting from scratch. And then don't forget these little stamps, they're great for fillers. So this could probably do with a bit of more pink actually. So looking back in the screen and just kind of taking a look back, I might use this other little... What's Janice up to? Janice. Just as well this isn't Zoom. I'm wrapped in a towel. <gasps> Don't tell everybody Janice. Lady Janice, you've gone down in my estimation. <laughs> I mustn't forget this other side one I want to come back to. So remember, when you're stamping off, you can be creating a separate sheet off to the side as well. In fact, I might bring it on to use... The, oh, no, I'm not using this colour. The idea was I used the pink. <laughs> so I might use these as little accents to those leaves. That works. So just because the stamps go together doesn't mean you have to use them together. Remember they are just they are patterns and um patterns are there to be played with. So don't be too restrictive on your stamps because you can get so much more out of them if only you played and see what shapes they make. Oh I like this. Okay, and that's half a sheet. I'm going to zoom you out so you can see that. Whoop. Oh. <laughs> oh no, come on. Every time I touch the screen, it zooms back again. So hopefully you can get a sense of the size. Um, okay, so I want to use... I'm going to set that aside because I'd like to maybe take a photo. I think I've smudged it again. I'll just cover it with a sentiment. Um, actually, where's that? I'll use this one instead. Oh, thank you, everybody. You can see the love for that. Right, I'm going to bring back my... I don't need that. What do you need? I need that. Yeah, okay, this one's just got a bit over the top, I think. <laughs> that was just my stamping off, so I'm going to bring this one back. This one was also me taking off the ink to stamp on the other one, so I'm just going to use this. And I'm going to add to, to this piece. Now, because this is full strength, I'm going in just, I'm not going to do any stamping off. I'm just going to go in full strength. Um, I made a card earlier. What have I done with it? Oh, I've, I've hidden it. <laughs> and I'll, I'll show you in a minute what that looks like. And that's just because of stamping off. So you don't have to waste your ink on a separate piece of paper. You can use it. So I'm going to use this. I love this colour combination. Hi, honeybee. So you snuck in. You didn't sneak in because you went, hello, everyone. So that wasn't very sneaky at all. <laughs> Oh dear, funny. This reminds me of like sea salt. They've got a company in the UK called Sea Salt and they do some gorgeous um, prints. 
This is what this reminds me of. Now, I'm tempted to do some off the page, but I suppose there would be maybe a few leaves, just a couple. Oh, I like that. Now, I am tempted to add some more. <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm going to be a bit naughty and not add... Yeah, I'm going to be naughty and not add my third colour. I'm going to go in with that little one and add some more. It's not naughty, but I'm, I'm just saying, you know, I was trying to stick to my my own colour challenge and I'm kind of breaking the rules a little bit, but it's because I want this as it is. My rules to break. <laughs> and I'm thinking now I want maybe the little twiggy design as well. Do I add the twiggy? Yeah. Yeah, sea salt's gorgeous, isn't it? If you haven't heard of sea salt, go, oh, sorry. The whole zoom on the, t the camera is just not working tonight. Now, I think if I press the volume, it doesn't work. As soon as I touch the screen, it's quite sensitive. There we go. Okay. Um, I just want some extra sprigs. Gotta love a sprig, eh? Looks a bit lonely. Oh, I've got an Esther, Esther. You're not following your printing rules, girl. <laughs> if you, you know, like on a printed pattern, it's a repeated pattern, and I've just gone and added two there, which means I've got to add two elsewhere. Colours, so nice. I don't know if I'll get sick of these colours. Turn your paper. Can you not see? Am I out of view? I'm out of view. Look. A dark grey. I look nice. Oh, yummy. Yum, yum. Let's just have a look on here. Coming. <laughs> Oh, that is so delicious. Do you guys prefer the grey or the peacock? Let's move that out of the way. The grey kind of gives it a whole different look, doesn't it? Too much together. The peacock obviously makes it stand out. I'm just going to see what it looks like on the lighter grey. Because I can. Come here, please. Thank you. What about that? It does match my room. <laughs> I wonder why I like those colours, Levine. Hi, Levine. Nice to see you. <laughs> oh, we're torn. Some of you like the peacock. I love that really like that okay i was going to show you what i made earlier okay so if you want to see what i made earlier <coughs> um with just stamping off the colors while well, i added some more colors i did this so look how bold and bright that, that can be if you just use the stamp by itself without the the three the three layers now if you want to i've got another idea to use with, like this but in different color a different color way so um stick around if you please and we're gonna go for some more this time now you might have seen the thumbnail so you would have got a little sneaky peeky as to what this is going to look like i think i've got too many layers there have i got one yeah there's one that's a cool sound isn't it Right, so I'm just going to quickly clean these off. So this chamois has just got water on it. It's great for cleaning stamps. So just, and then I'm going to try and not get myself into a muddle like I did just now with 
what goes with what. I might just have to take a little think about what I'm doing. Okay. So this time, same again, kind of. Right, which one was it? Definitely these two. And this one. Okay, she knows what she's doing. She thinks. Get my scrap piece up off to the side so I'm ready to stamp off. Starting with the smallest first. Is that the smallest? Yes, it is. Okay. Here it goes. But right, this time, oh, 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 decisions. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to my plan. Stick to the game plan. Okay, full strength in Pretty Peacock. Second layer stamping off. I'm going to go and try and go a little bit faster now that I know what I'm looking out for. So it's a lovely way to just get that 3D effect onto your um, flowers. Right, so we can stamp off, stamp on. It's like that film, isn't it? Karate Kid. <laughs> stamp off, stamp on. Look at the difference it makes by putting that final rose on. Look, I like that as it is. I might just put one more. They look like eyes. <laughs> wax on, that's it, wax on. Wax off. Right, I'm going to leave that as it is because I think last time I got a bit stamp heavy with the amount of ink happening there. Now, are you, a, I've said that, I've asked this question before, but I'm going to ask it again. Are you a realist or are you an abstractist? I don't know what the word is. Do you prefer things to look real as they are, or do you like them abstract? I mean, you're not really going to get blue roses, are you? Oh no, is this the one? What am I looking for? Where have you gone? It's not you. It's not you. It's you. <laughs> Hi, Ruth. I need a bigger block. I have got a big block right off to the side here so I don't lose any of my stamps. Which is a great handy tip to have. Okay, I'm going in with the full, um, the biggest um, stamp with this one. Oh, hold on. Before I do that. I oh, know I can. I will. I will. I will just do it because I've got my my cheat sheet next to me so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to pop these along the top. Okay. Now, it's those ones and this one. Let's move out of the way so we don't get confused. We're going to try and stick to our colour palette again, but use um, just a different one. Oh, mixture of realists and abstracts. <laughs> well, tonight, ladies and gents, got a bit of both for you. Be happy to know. So, just got to figure out which way up this way. It's like a triangle. So, if you think about a triangle that's that's the top of the the flower okay 
I'm going to stamp off and put this swirl. Keep turning it. If you can't see where it goes, hover and spin your stamp. And like I said earlier, it is like a jigsaw puzzle where it just suddenly fits together. So hover and twist until it fits. Hover, twist and fit. I like my little... Um, is that the peacock or the blue? So these here are pretty peacock. And I'm now stamping with Balmy Blue. This stamp set is called All Things Fabulous. It's on page 121 of the annual catalogue because it was just a number that we got to learn. So again, I'm going to stamp off onto my extra page there because I can use that colour. Spin, twist, stamp. Now I've got to be... If I stamp on there, I'm going to get myself a line. Can you see that on there? So I'm going to just ink that up again. Let's try again. Oh, what's going on? Oh. There we go. Horror twist stamp. I might fit one down in that. I think it's because I'm not on a flat surface. It does help. So a very warm welcome, this is your first time viewing, it's lovely to have your company tonight. Uh, do let me know if you're new to my channel and you can subscribe afterwards. And what else is there to say? The things that you see me use can be purchased from my online shop. So if you're interested in wanting to give this a go or to learn a new hobby, I can be your coach as it were, <laughs> or try to be. Through my not you know not personal coach, but just through my YouTube videos. If you have any questions, you can ask away about what I'm doing. Right, I'm going to use the bumblebee. And remember, we can use this as our filler stamp. And I'm going to stamp twice um, to get two lots of impression out of this and space them out a bit. Space them out a bit. <laughs> Went a bit cockney, innit? it? There we go. Now I do want to add another colour as well, so I, I want to... Make sure there's space to add that other colour is what I was about to say. I had to pause to think. <clears throat> and then this uh, stamp here, I feel like I've got some small blocks missing. Maybe I've just used them all up. This fits on top of those lovely stems. And because we're stamping twice, it looks like a proper sort of floral arrangement where you've got that lovely kind of um, foreground and far ground. <laughs> What's it called? Background, foreground and background. <laughs> what was my other word I made up tonight? Playability. It's a good word that. Right, we're going to go in with our Rococo, Rococo, Rococo Rose. Actually, she says, actually, I'm going to use a different stamp. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to use the three leaf one instead for a change. I can. So I'm just inking so I'm not I haven't got the stem on it, which means I can just tuck in a little bit. Now 
Let me just cut. I'm just seeing if I. No, I've not missed anything. Good, good. <laughs> to sneak in something here. Let's have a look. Maybe something here. And maybe something here. Right, so now's the point where you step back and have a look and go, right, what colour is missing? Not missing, but like what colour have we used that needs maybe a little bit more colour? So I'm thinking the yellow and a bit more of the pink. So oh, my light is doing its own thing. Up in the middle. What, like the gaps, is that what you mean? So I think I'm going to save that for the yellow so that the yellow's got the same kind of theme of the flowers. And then I'm going to use this cute little one here with the... I wonder if... Oh, we've just created our own new flower. Did you see that? So, just joining the halves together. Look, just created our own little flower. How cute is that? So just spin it around halfway. Meet the other half, say hello. Meet the other half. <laughs> and then... You've got another cute flower. Oh, that is so sweet. You can even go on top of the colour. And I think I, I, that will do. Okay, and then I'm just going to add some of the yellow bumblebee. And then we'll show you what we've been doing tonight. Oh, I could finish this off as well. If you want to bear with me. Stick with me. I'm just going to maybe tuck in some yellow with those pink flowers. I don't need an awful lot of yellow, but just a little touch. I just had a few touches in places where the pink uh, leaves are coming out as well. It's like a painting where sometimes you've just got to step back and take a look to see what's happening. That's why it's, it's quite handy working from the screen, actually, to look down the camera to see what's happening. Oh, everybody. Right, so I think I'm going to call that particular one a day. So it's not too far off my cheat sheet, look. So here's the one we did first I'd really like this one it's got a vintage vibe there's my cheat sheet not too far off so I'm planning on maybe pin it down somehow didn't think about that did I might have to make smaller cards because <laughs> this is only half a sheet of A4 so and then we created this because we we're using the stamped off images here's one I made earlier with a different colorway and then I'm just going to work on this and then we'll come off for this week. So let's have a look. Just going to add some bold flowers to this. I like the yellow combo again. One of these nice bright bold. Oh, it's a bit bluey, but never mind. <laughs> Nice bold yellow flowers. And then I'm thinking maybe bring back the balmy. nice strong bold colours I 
what colours am I using? Okay, these are the colours that I've chosen for my um, colour challenge. So I've grouped the Stampin' Up! colours together and have given them different categories. So today is Summer Days. I think balmy blue with bumblebees buzzing around the roses with a pretty pretty peacock wandering around the garden. <laughs> That's my story and I'm going to stick to it. Right, this needs some more peacock. But I'm going to overdo the peacocks. I'm just going to bring in this stem. And the stamp set we're using is, oops, she says, dropping on the floor. All things fabulous. Okay, so that was the link one we just used just now. <laughs> well, I, I split, the way I did the categories was to split it by their names really um so that that's how I, i've put them into different categories so if you want to catch up with a few of the other challenges i've done i've done them in the past couple of weeks and um yeah it's, it's mainly by my name to be honest is how i got the different cat how i categorized them So we've had cottage garden and we've had tropical already. Now, these centres are calling out. So I'm going to... I'm sure I had another block somewhere. Probably do. Add a bit of yellow. Oh, oh up. And ink in my fingers. There we go. Let's see if we can just add. Oh yes, that makes all the difference. Just gives them a yellow centre. think I'm there. <laughs> Let me just take a little look. Yep, okay. Oh, I've got a bug that's landed on my flowers. I wonder if you, I can show you. <laughs> Fred, say hello to YouTube. <laughs> oh, it's fl fl oh, thanks, thanks Fred. Nearly in my mouth then. Gross. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's, <laughs> where are we? Um, Distracted by a silly fly that would look pretty on a bit of yellow, methinks. So I've broke more slightly, but I did kind of stick to the colours as well. There we are. So it's amazing what you can do with stamp inks and paper, I think, anyway. Hopefully, I've proven that to you tonight with these gorgeous colour combination. And do follow along with the challenge. Tend to kind of the previous week's challenge over on Facebook on my my group, which is SSC Inspired and Shared. If somebody could type that in, it'd be very useful. If anyone wants to join us over there, or if you want to come and follow me on Facebook, I do uh, Facebook lives on a Tuesday also. And then we did some half sheet wonders, so you can chop these up and basically make them into two cards. I'm just going to pop that on there so you get an idea of what that might look like. There you go. But I want to take some photos first before I chop them up. This one, I might even note lets and cut it into four. Um, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed tonight's uh, show, as <laughs> my husband calls it. and um, Or a class or a lesson or, you know, enjoyed the stamping. I appreciate you being here, just commenting along and chatting. I'm going to turn the camera. Hi. <laughs> and um, for just your support and those 17 thumbs up already. So thank you so much. Um, any support we can get is much appreciated as YouTubers. <laughs> we used to love the pink leaves. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for your company once again. I hope you have a good evening. I think Ruth is going, Ruth, are you going live? 
Oh, you're welcome, Dee Dee. Um, do subscribe, and if you hit the bell button, it will give you options of, of notifications. So if you hit the all, if I go live or load a video or do a premiere, you'll get a notification of that. So that if you hit the all with the drop down menu on the bell. And um, all these things are available at my online shop. If you would like a catalogue in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, then just drop me a line. Um, stampinstarcreations at gmail.com. So, thank you. <laughs> right, Ruth, are you, are you there? Are you there, Ruth? My inky fingers. They're not too bad tonight, actually. I, they could be worse, can gone all dark. I'm just going to find out if my sister's going to come on live now. I think I'm going to take a photo and turn some of these into cards. Good. Hi there Faith. Welcome. Was this your first time here? I'm glad you thoroughly enjoyed it. It's good. Oh God bless Connie. Thank you. Is Ruth not replying? <laughs> Oh, thank you, Ruth. Thank you so much. Oh, I got a second super chat of the night. Thank you. She was busy trying to sort out her super chat. That's what it was. Faith is trying to say something. I'm just going to let people finish and then I'm going to sign off. It's lovely to see you all again. Thank you so much. Ruth is going live. Ruth, uh, art for stamping with Ruth. She's my eldest sister. So if you want to check her out, check out what she does. And she's basically the inspiration behind these amazing stamped sheets so you know she does loads of these so if you want to find out what she does with them go and check out Artful Stamping with Ruth that's a love take care everybody god bless nice to see you good night bye Faith from Pennsylvania I've just caught your message lovely to have you along nice to see you Hopefully catch you again soon. Bye everyone.